Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series. In the last video, we show you that how we can create a toolpath for that one component for the uh, with the help of upper stream and the lower stream. We was also show you that how we can create a toolpath synchronization for the upper stream and the lower stream as well. And in this in this video, we would like to show you that how we can make the part handling for that one component as well as we will like to also show you that how you can create a complete and a proper tool path for the right hand spindle with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream and before we have to perform the tool path on a right hand spindle we have to make a very important operations that is known as pick off cut off so for that one we have to click on pick off cut off the generally pick off cut off operation that we are using for the part handling from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle and right hand spindle to the left hand spindle and all these parameters are automatically by set default from the master cam we need to nothing to make the modifications we have to just say okay so as you can see here once i defining the pick off cut off operation so all operations are perfectly working and now as you can see here my part is going to be came here in the right hand spindle before we have to create the tool path on the right hand spindle I would like to show you the simulation that how my uh, that operation is going to be performed from the left hand spindle to the right hand spindle for that one I have to select all the operations and just press G1 as you can see here once I press the G1 so there are the multiple options are add on from the left hand spindle as well as the right hand uh, upper stream as well as the lower stream so as you can see here there are the multiple options are add on I have to click on expand all operations in the last video or in the last session we show you that how uh, access synchronization till the this one point so or this one operations after that again if i add on some more operations so we need to make a tool path synchronization so that's we have to add on right at here so after the grooving operations i have to play my turret part once after my turret part i have to play the lathe point once all the lathe these operations are going to be completed i would like to came turret park again so all these are the synchronization of this tool path now I have to save and launch the tool path now step by step I would like to explain you how my part handling is working and what are the different number of operations that are performing at that time so as you can see at the time the first operation was the facing the facing operation after that we successfully do the second operation that is known as roughing so once I completed the roughing operations third operation is known as a boring operation with the help of upper stream so as you can see here we successfully done the boring operation roughing as well as the finishing both the same time and we are successfully do the chamfering after that the next operation is going to be grooving once my grooving operation successfully completed after that we have a next operation and that is known as cut off ladies and gentlemen the cut off and part handling we will do both at the same time so my upper milling head is take a tool that is parting tool and now the next thing is my right hand spindle or I can say a right hand spindle have to take the position near to my workpiece and once it came to the near to the workpiece it will hold my part and now have a look parting once parting done it's take the workpiece to the right hand side have a look that's all the things are perfect well settled have a look so we are defining the, all the operations and once it's going on a ref, uh, right hand side so after that my upper stream as well as the lower stream both take the reference position in the center point so these are all the operations we are performing till this point 
and after that we are going to show you that how we can create a toolpath for the right hand side with the help of upper stream as well as the lower stream where you will learn a lot of new things in this video and what are the these things that you will learn in this video I would like to show you so first you have to click on the face so for that one purpose you have to click the same tool and the face once you click on a face you have to select the access synchronization and you have to click make a toolpath for the uh, right hand spindle with the help of lower stream and just say ok you have to use the same tool uh, make the reference position on this point face parameter and just say ok once I do successfully the facing operations after that we have to define the next operation and that is known as a, a chamfering in ID as well as the OD so for chamfering and OD I would like to use a finish tool path first I would like to make a finish tool path in an ID so just define this one and that this one we are going to perform with the help of upper stream so the tool is same that we are using previously just say reference point this is my reference point and on the position or at this point a very important thing that you have to define that is how my right hand is uh, boring tool will be performed on the right hand spender so in that condition we have to make the tool angle properly in A as well as the B so that's a really important topic the A angle we are going to tilting it from 180 because its position is now 0 so it have to tilting or rotating in 180 as well as B is going to be rotating again 180 and what is the reason behind that because if it is going to be rotating in 180 so that time insert direction is lower side but we have to perform or cutting the ports and right at here so that time we have to rotating uh, this direction also so A and B both direction is going to be rotated 180 and 180 and once I successfully done I have to make a lead out 1M extra so chamfer is going to be make perfect and have a look that's the beauty of Milton Pro that successfully chamfer and came out once my chamfer is going to be done I have to define the OD chamfer as well as so click on here this is that one spindle define the tool make the reference point just say ok in a lead in lead out make some extra 1 mm distance so chamfer is going to be perfect and just say ok and g1 now have a look of all these tool parts together we have to click on expand all tool parts and now we have to see so this is all the operations that we are using the turret park and all these things so once all these things are going to be successfully done after that what we have to do we have to perform after the facing or all these operation turret park and all these we are going to perform some two operations on right hand spindle so again we have to make all these that remaining right hand spindle proper synchronization so after that after that one operation I would like to make the facing operation once my facing operation successfully completed I have to make the operations perform that is known as a uh, with the help of upper stream the finishing operations one that, that complete successfully I have to perform the lower turret finishing operation and save and launch now have a look I just increase the speed a little bit high the face a rough ID groove and the next thing is parting so parting successfully done the next operation is called the facing OD and ID so all set perfectly without any issue without any error so I hope you guys get understanding about that how we can create all these tool part together and make a very good and beautiful part on a Milton so I hope you learn each and everything if you guys get any issue any problem when you are doing the practice of these exercise 
feel free to ask us feel free to comment on our comment section we are always here to help you best figure out as we can so keep learning keep growing